What up, everybody? How are you guys doing? It is day six of the Recruits Invitational, and I'm feeling kind of lazy today. I'm not going to lie, but we got to get stuff done. we got priorities, and my bed is just really comfortable. Let's go to the desk. What up everybody and welcome in. We are here and excited to show you guys what we finished. So Tyler Brandman's logo got finished within a day. Probably the fastest logo that I've ever done and I was really happy about it. I absolutely love the way it came out. The color scheme to, to the way it looks, to the retro vibe, it was absolutely insane. So I enjoyed it a lot. We have two logos down. We're gonna be working on someone's next and I'll explain who it is at the end. So. Let me break down the logo real quick, as we always do. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, just the logo itself. Boom. Logo itself um, is actually really, really nice. Uh, I love it, absolutely love it. But let's get into the showcase. The showcase is where I feel like it shines a lot. Again, the logo is absolutely amazing regardless. But we will start the showcase up and um, let's break it down a little bit. So questionnaire that I had, he had asked for, he said he wanted specific colors. I got the colors, it's teal, purple, silver, white. And I think it came out really good. Black was a great accent for it too, because black goes good with all of those colors. Um, so when I first got this, I guess, assignment, uh, I was trying to figure out what way to actually make uh, a logo for him. Because I didn't just want to do like a loaf of bread. So I was like, you know what? Tyler, bread man, bread, slice of toast, slice of bread. So I went with the slice of bread style and I thought it was really nice. I gave it a more animated character just because he wanted a retro vibe. The retro vibe is where I got the idea of actually going with an animated character. Cause when I think of retro vibe, I think of animated character, shrunk down, small arms, like things like that. We also know that Tyler's kind of getting, getting that gym in, that ripped in. So I wanted to give the arms a little more muscle than normal and also kind of make them look like little breadsticks at the same time so yeah I, I think it came pretty good um so uh again we wanted to go with the retro vibe but i didn't want to go full pixelated so i went with a pixelated uh style for his name to give it that retro vibe to tie in with the character and then my favorite part about the entire thing i it, it's crazy because it's such a simple thing are the stars the pixelated stars in the back because when i was doing them um the way i did it I didn't think they were gonna come out with the same color scheme. So they came out with like a pink, purple, blues. It worked perfectly. So it looks like a pearl. They look like they're shining when they're not even shining. So I think it came out really good. Uh, and then the aspect that I wanted to put in was another numbers. So his favorite number was four. So we decided to put one cluster of four stars. Everything else has a pair of two. So everything else is in twos. And then there's that one cluster of four that is right by the arm. Genuinely love this design. I think it came out really good and I'm really excited to pull on the next one the next one we have coming up and i'm really stoked for it actually because before before he even told me what he wanted i kind of had a general idea of what i wanted to do with it and it just worked perfect we are going to be working on a logo for hydrated hydrated is next on the chopping block i can't wait to show you guys what we have in store for him and i'm super excited to actually show you guys what i can do so let's get into day seven i will see you guys there thanks again for supporting and before you guys go to bed and you wake up in the morning tell someone that you love them i love you peace